Okay, here's a quick video of how to get the Blade 230S inside of a scale fuselage. The problem everybody runs into is how to get the electric tail motor drive through the fuselage. Okay, so what you have to do is on the bottom side of the tail boom, you need to drill a hole right here. Because what you have to do is you have to run the wires external of the tail boom rather than through the tail boom. You take the tail motor mount off take your motor out, you're going to have to rotate the motor slightly. You'll end up drilling a new hole for the motor mount screws right here and right here. And that repositions the motor so that the wires come out here instead of through the tail boom. So you need to drill a hole right here big enough for the tail motor wires to go through without binding up, without you having to bend them, and then remount it. Okay, this one has already been done. This is the fuselage or the mechanics that goes inside of my Airwolf. Here you can see where the tail motor mount has been drilled. The wires are coming outside and you can also see the old motor mount screw hole and the location of the new motor mount screw hole. Okay, All right, this is on the MD500. It's basically the same way. You can see where the wires come out. There's the old screw hole and the new location of the screw mount. Okay, to put this in, you take your tail boom and put it back onto the helicopter. You have the tail motor mount with the wires hanging. All right, just pretend there's no tail boom here. We'll show you on the Airwolf fuselage. So the wires would be coming out the bottom here of the tail motor mount and just hanging. You fish the wires through the fuselage and it would go into about right here. And then you, re you slide the helicopter in and grab needle nose pliers or uh, tweezers and you have to reach in and grab the wires and plug them in. It's kind of tricky, especially on the Airwolf. There's not a lot of room to work there, but you have to reach in through somehow, the best way you can, pull the wires as far forward as you can and stick the helicopter mechanics in only as far as you have to, to be able to reach these and plug them in to the tail motor wires. Once you have it plugged in, then you can insert the mechanics all the way and then slide your tail motor mount onto the tail boom and tighten the set screw down. For the Airwolf, because the tail motor mount sits all the way inside, you're gonna to have to drill a hole on the side to access the set screw to tighten it down. For the MD500, you don't because it's external. It doesn't go all the way inside the fuselage. The set screw is right there. The tail fin for the 230S has a different bolt pattern than the T-Rex 250, so you have to redrill new holes for that. The other main thing to get this to fit is you're going to have to have to cut the sides of the fuselage to clearance the uh, control links. And the biggest thing that you have to do is on the where the control links attach to the servo arms, they attach to the outside. You have to move them to the inside and move that ball link in closer to the inside of the fuselage and trim the servo arm so that when these go full up position they don't hit the bottom of the fuselage. Here I had to clearance it all the way out and I ended up having to go all the way through so I just covered it up with a monocoat trim sheet. This side you can see on the inside right there where I had to grind some of the fuselage out to get the control links to be able to move freely. You don't want them touching the side of the fuselage at all. You don't want any binding at all. And to mount it to the fuselage, I put an aluminum plate across where the front skid mounts go. I bolt the aluminum plate to the frame and then I bolt the aluminum plate to the plywood frame inside the fuselage. And that is pretty much it. Uh, 
Uh, there's some clearancing I had to do here for the anti-rotation bracket and all through here. But that's pretty much all the cutting that you're going to have to do on is just right here around where the where the swash plate links are. And this one I left the side window out to make it easier to reach in through this window to plug the tail motor wires in, plus it gives a little more cooling air running through there all over the speed controller. Also when you mount this, there's not a lot of clearance between the tail rotor and the side of the fuselage, so mount so that the tail boom is as far to the right as you can get it in there. Put a piece of foam inside the fuselage on the left side to push the tail boom to the right. That way you end up with more clearance between the tail rotor and the, and the tail boom of the fuselage. This is even more important on the Airwolf fuselage because it's slightly thicker and you don't have a lot of clearance there. Alright, I hope that explains it. Uh, one other thing on Airwolf, the pitch servo right here on the side hits the side of the fuselage and you have to cut that out. So to cover that up just take a piece of clear plastic like what your LiPo battery comes in, the packaging, paint it black from the inside, use double stick tape to hold it to the side of the servo and then when it's installed it's black right there and you don't see it. You don't notice the cutout so much. And this is the shape of the cutouts for the top for the Airwolf. And then that one just mounts straight to the bottom of the fuselage with four screws. Alright, well I hope that helps. Uh, if you have any more questions, just shoot me a message and I will gladly help.